Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Man, happy full moon in Leo. Y'all not going to believe this. Like, so of course I pulled this card because it's the actual full moon in Leo tonight, right? Um, and then this card popped out from our Wisdom of the Oracle deck. And then I have a new deck that I just love. And I kept, this card kept showing up like on the bottom or whenever I would cut the card or whatever and I would shuffle. And I was like, nah, nah. But I guess it wanted to come through because it popped out as soon as I started shuffling and asked for guidance. So this is from the Sacred Self-Care Oracle, Sound Healing. And then the goddesses started calling on me. And they was like, okay, come on, you got to shuffle us too. So I did the goddesses. And look, four popped out. Four popped out, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go in and honor you all, and I'm gonna read what you have to say because apparently y'all got y'all got something y'all need to get off your chest. <laughs> so let's get started with um the full moon in Leo, and pray that I can get through this without my camera cutting off, cause um y'all know how it is. We don't have enough space. <laughs> so let me see. Full moon in Leo. Sorry, I'm just all over the place. Um, It says, don't let pride get in your way. Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is man magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More light and thoughts. I mean, I'm sorry. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you're not being... Mm, sorry, y'all. <laughs> if you've not been doing as you would have done by lately, this is the time to find a balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will help all your relationships. The attunement to this moon is be magnificent without being plain too much. <laughs> Self-esteem is good. Vanity is not. Everyone is equally important. Creative urges should be followed. Work some magic. A friendship may be ending now. When the full moon comes into Leo, it can be a wonderfully bright time like this moon tonight. Where people feel more confident to show the world their talents and assets. That's the upside of this lunation and of this card, no matter when you pull it. However, take note that the Leo full moon combination creates a sort of tension between your needs and the needs of the people in your networks. Leo full moon is a time to release pride. So pretty much I interpret that as staying in your heart space um, because we are going through a lot of tension right now in the polarity area. <laughs> so I think it's good to um, stay in your heart space. And become soulmates. <laughs> so let's read what um this one had to say, which was just, this is just a cute little card. The essential meanings of this card, number 41, is harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. The Oracle's message is you are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to a next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you towards them, and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially, too. <laughs> Soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life for only a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. And I really believe that. I think that people come into our lives um, pretty much because they activate you in some way. So, and it doesn't have to be a, like a sexual relationship. Soulmates can be so much more than that. Really good friendships um, with the same sex or opposite. The relationship message is consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. 
pay attention for you are in the presence <laughs> in the presence of a soulmate come to guide you home to the real you prosperity message is strategic alliances are most important right now as you begin to attract the perfect people to support your dreams this is a journey you will share with others mentors Business partners, helpers, employees, creative partners, friends, and strangers opens doors for you to step through the portal to join you in a harmonic dance of collaboration, commitment, and co-creation. This is what you've been waiting for. The protection message is an important relationship brings you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns and all your old stories that don't serve your well-being enter into this dynamic so you can heal them. This person is called to a sacred task to help you learn. Even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky, or even inconceivable, the question is not why did he or she do this to me, but rather, what is the gift in this? Look into this mirror. You will only be changed for the better. So don't let pride get in the way, right? Recognize that soulmate, that person, even if they irritate you, they're really helping you to grow. I know it sounds crazy, but that's reality. And this is from my new deck, Self-Care Oracle. And look at this beautiful card, the, the vibrations and frequencies all around her as she plays her um, singing bowls. Number 47, sound healing. The mantra is, I receive healing energy with grace and ease. Specific sound frequencies like the love frequency, 528 hertz, offer unique healing energies because of the way they resonate with our cells and the water in our bodies. Sound healing often involves a mix of crystal bowls, dirigidus, gongs, tuning forks, and other sacred instruments to create a vibrational frequency that brings on a deeply meditative and dreamlike state, often resulting in visions, memories, and bodily sensations that illuminate areas of life that need attention. <laughs> Much like a soulmate. <laughs> And I have it on the singing bowl, too, so isn't that cool? Okay. Seek out a sound journey based on a specific mood, frequency, chakra, or environment. With more and more options out there, you'll find something that's just right for you. Either download a sound healing recording to listen to in your home, or find out if there's a local yoga studio or healing center where you can experience one with a trained specialist. Be sure to journal about the emotions and memories that came up for you during the session. So, you know, with this one, um, I would definitely say check out Meditative Mind because they have some wonderful um, meditation sound healing on there. So because this is a self-care oracle, they ask you to do some journaling, right? And they say participate in the sound healing and write about your experience before, during, and after the journey. How do you feel in your mind, body, and heart? So that's the journal activity that you know, you can partake in with the sound healing. And I am so pressed to get to these goddesses because <laughs> um, people who know me and um, my affiliation with the Earth Guardians Alliance, all of them understand these cards. So it's just, <laughs> I am loving this and I'm loving these goddesses for stepping forward during this full moon in Leo to keep us in that heart space, you know what I'm saying? That Leo heart space. So the theme just keeps coming up over and over. So let's see what Kali has to say. Because she is one bad mama jamma. The old must be released so that the new can enter. <laughs> you can't make this up. I sing praises to those whose hearts accept the universal order, which only appears to be chaotic and ever-changing. In actuality, everything is designed down to the smallest detail to be in perfect operation. The dance of the universe is a happy one, with energy swirling and twirling in a never-ending celebration of life itself. Join this dance, dear one, and enjoy the remarkable journey of the weavings of the story of your life. Do not fear what appears to be a change or a loss. It's only the transitioning orbit of energy interplaying with you and your loved ones. Embrace it as evidence that you are alive. Embrace your deepest emotions as a signal of your true human essence. Oh, man. This is for a sister friend of mine. Endings and beginnings. And I know she's going to really get it because she is literally Kali. She's literally her. Like, so I really love this. 
Your current changes are for the best. Keep your thoughts positive as they are very powerful. What appears to be a loss is really the beginning of a happy new phase. Let the past go. It's time to move on. So Goddess Kali, this ultra-powerful Hindu goddess, is feared by those who don't understand the natural cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. Kali is the embodiment of Mother Nature, who cleanses away the old with natural storms and fires to make the ground fertile for new crops in life. Kali is the ultimate get-things-done goddess, and she's a powerful ally to those who call upon her. Like a wise stage mother, she'll push you beyond your comfort zone to reach the heights of your potential. That is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, Mary Magdalene, this woman. See, we talking about love again, right? And, you know, she's come through to me uh, this these last couple of months. And I'm thankful for that. Um so let's read what she has to say because she's just divine. Love yourself, others, in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. Did we not just hear that about soulmates? <laughs> Mary Magdalene, I am not what most people think, yet to defend myself would be to sink to a lower level than I feel comfortable with. I am one with the divine, just as you are, and it is here that I choose to reside. The lower levels of human bickering, judgment, and chaos are just that, lower levels. I choose to do my work from the level of the higher consciousness where love reigns supreme. Unconditional love, right? It's here where the most good can be done, and I urge you to do the same. Where you dwell in consciousness is where you'll truly dwell. So focus your thoughts on the good things that you can find in people and rise above all appearances otherwise tells you this goddess is divine she is no joke because to be able to have unconditional love no matter what whoo that's a big thing stepping into that heart space and staying there staying anchored there that's just amazing for for humans so can you know it's easy for her probably but humans it's not easy for us so we got to try to really work hard on that don't worry about what others don't worry what others think or say heal this situation with love Send love to those who have hurt or misjudged you. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. Release old unforgiveness towards others to help yourself heal and move on. A good ho'oponopono would be in order. <laughs> That's what I put in. Um, Mary Magdalene, although the Gospels never specifically call Mary Magdalene a prostitute or a sinner, she's been called by one, she's been called one by misogynists. Mary Magdalene, nonetheless, overlooks these false judgments, is unconditionally forgiving, and has a beautiful, sweet energy. Her significant role with Jesus, or Yeshua, as described in the Gospels, includes her washing his feet, witnessing his death, and being one of the first people to whom he appeared after his resurrection. Now think about it. If she was a prostitute and a sinner, as people say, and he still appeared to her first, one of the first people. She held high regard in Yeshua's heart and in his mind and in his space. And here it is, this woman learned how to be unconditional, how to love unconditionally with all that going against her, even some of the disciples as well. So, you know, it's, it's the same old adage, you know, um, male dominance over woman you know and here she is standing strong and just being unconditionally loving so you know it's just i think it's a beautiful thing controversies about other roles she may have played include christ's bride a temple priestess or a disciple call upon her for help with forgiveness and opening your heart to more love so i'm definitely going to use her as one of the goddesses that I call on when I need to be more loving and to kind of ignore people when they treat me a certain way. And I know one of my sister friends will really get that one. So right now it's just a time to really step into your heart space. It's going to be a lot going on and we have to stay anchored in that. Um, Bast. <laughs> Basset. <laughs> I can't believe all these goddesses step forward and the people who know me just really going to get it, especially my 
my Earth Guardian Alliance family. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. And look at this beautiful woman, independent. Like the cat, you're fiercely independent, yet you also need affection and playful companions. Now is the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for their opinions, ultimately, you must make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities, so ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Spend time alone. Give yourself permission to play. Ask for your needs to be met. Make your own decision. Work with cats. <laughs> oh, pay attention to your pet, feline, and or get a new cat. <laughs> That's that. I don't know if the dog going to agree with that, but hey, you can try. You can get a little uh, stuffed animal cat or something. That'll help. The Egyptian goddess Bast transforms into a cat each night and protects her family and those who call upon her with her all-seeing night vision. She exhibits the cat-like traits of the feminine, of the feminine, which include gracefulness, independence, playfulness, and intuition. Bast also works with the cat lovers to help their feline companions. The daughter of the sun god Ra. <laughs> Bast has the rare distinction of being both a moon and a sun goddess. So on this full moon in Leo, <laughs> the cat, look what popped out. <laughs> I'm telling you, you just can't make it up. It's all love though. Sulis, bodies of water. And this one I've never read before. So it's very interesting. I want to see what goddess Sulis has to say. Sulis, bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or ocean, to recharge your batteries. So I think that's, you know, also rhythmic as well as the sound healing, you know. So let's see what Sulis has to say. Water's curative effects are well known and well documented. Since the human body is composed almost entirely of water, this makes sense. Water can wash away sadness, pain, and the ill effects of suffering. Engage in purification rituals involving water more often, and you'll experience an uplifting in your spirit and outlook. Water's magical properties are amplified when you infuse it with your prayers and intentions. Whether you soak in a sea salt bath or bathe in a fresh water spring, you're sure to see the difference that water will make. And it's funny because in the full, at a full moon, the water in our bodies are affected more than anything. Like bodies of water are affected during the full moon. So <laughs> this reading is everything. Go for a meditative walk near water. Take a vacation near the ocean. Move to a home situated closer to a body of water. Swim. Take a sea salt bath to detox your energetic and physical body. And drink more water. <laughs> Sulis. Well, it says Sulis. But I would say Sulis. I don't know why. Sulis is a Celtic sun goddess who oversees bodies of water associated with healing. The fountain of healing water in Bath, England is named in Sulis's honor. Call upon Sulis while conducting healing ceremonies involving water, while taking a revitalizing swim or bath, or when you need help arranging your schedule or finances to allow a trip to the ocean or lake. So I'll definitely be calling on her soon because I want to go to Jamaica. <laughs> but anyway I think the overall message tonight is definitely staying in your heart space right um, even if that means you have to be alone find some time to be alone take care of your heart and the way you take care of your heart is with meditation with love with independence, um, nice salt baths, you know what I'm saying? So um, I hope that this was beneficial to you. I just think it was a dynamic, dynamic reading tonight. <laughs> of course, we all know why, because just each card just kind of represented the other. So I really appreciate that. And I hope that everyone has a blessed day. 
safe and beautiful full moon in Leo. Remember to stay anchored in your heart. Be happy, be light, be love. Take time to do what you know what makes your soul happy. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, subscribe, and feel free to comment. Namaste.